to the Sandy U. Today we are going to learn four strum patterns in 4-4 four, four time. Before we do that, please pause the video, click subscribe, click on the bell so you get the notifications for the new lessons. Also, if you like this video, click the thumbs up, send me some comments, let me know what you want to play, what problems you're having, what questions you have, and any comments, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so today the four strum patterns in the 4-4 four, four time, we're going to use a G major chord for all of the strumming. So let's talk about the G major chord. If you don't already know it, it is first finger on the third string in the second fret, second finger on the first string, same fret, third finger, second string in the third fret, thumb applying the pressure on the back of the instrument so you can strum all of the strings. You can use your thumb and strum down, or you can use your fingernails, you can use a pick, whatever you feel more comfortable. So starting off, we're not going to do a strum pattern yet until we establish what 4-4 four, four means. Many of you know, some of you don't. 4-4 four, four time means technically that the quarter note equals one beat in a measure of four beats. So if we were gonna do a strumming of 4-4 four, four time, the quarter note gets one beat, we're gonna go one, two, three, drummer maybe will be kicking down the kick drum a beat for one two three four right on the beat now sometimes you'll hear other things where they're just doing on two and four but four four time just think if you get the beat going and it's one two three four that is four four time and that's what we're talking about so let's just do one two three four so again, we're talking about quarter notes here. So this quarter note gets one beat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the quarter note and break it in half. So just like in math class, a quarter, if you break it into two, becomes one eighth plus one eighth. So we're gonna take that quarter note, and when you see it written, you'll see it written below. Down here, I've got a quarter note written for you. When you break it in half, make it into an eighth note, which means there's gonna be a flag on the top of the bar, and I'm gonna connect them down below. So you'll have it written down below where two notes with the flag on the top equal an eighth note each. Together, they equal one beat of the chord. So we're gonna first, before we move on to the strum patterns, we're gonna break that beat in half. So we had a quarter note going one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna break it in half. The first eighth note is a down strum. The second one is an up strum. And we're gonna break the count as well. So it's not gonna be one, two, it's gonna go one and. So the second half is gonna be called an and. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four and, and is on the up beat. So break it, if you understand how we're breaking it in half, now we're gonna take some out and put some in. So the very first strum pattern that we're gonna learn is going to be down for the first quarter note, hold it for the whole beat. When we start beat two, we're gonna break this one in half. We're gonna go down, up. So the count goes one, two, and. But we've gotta stay with the beat. Those of you who have a metronome at home, you're gonna to wanna to use the metronome as you get practicing. But at first, we're just gonna go one, two, and. Then on beat three, we're gonna give it a whole beat. So down, hold it for the whole beat. And then four, we're gonna break it in half again. Down, up. So we'll say four, and. So the whole thing put together is one, two, and three, four, and. This is exactly the same time as just doing four down strums. One, two, three, four. But we're gonna go one, break it in half, break it in half. One, two, and three, four, and. So that is strum pattern, we'll call that strum pattern number one. On strum pattern number two, we're going to take out the first part of beat three. So we're gonna go one, two, and, breaking up beat two. We're gonna skip the first part of beat three, which means we're also going to skip the down strum. So you need to bring your hand down, but don't strum. Then you're gonna play the up part, which is the and side of beat three, and, and then break beat four in half, four, and. This one's a little bit trickier, so let me play it slow. One, two, and skip, and four, and. 
you're skipping beat three. Again, I'll play it slower. One, two, and skip beat three, and four, and. But we've got to keep it in the rhythm, so you're going to have to train your brain to skip that beat. You can even say skip when you're strumming. Down, down, up, skip, up, down, up. But the beat is still the same as one, two, three, four. We're just breaking, skip, up, down, up. You can see where you can play with a drummer or you can play with another instrument, someone who's keeping the time. You can even play with a tambourine, whatever you like. All right, strum pattern number three. We're going to, add, we're going to break beat one, beat two, and beat four. And we're only going to play the last part of beat three. So it'll go like this. Split one and two. One and two. And skip the first part of beat three. And go up. And then skip beat. And then split beat four. So like this again. One and two. And skip and four and. When you play that faster, it sounds like this. so many things by just changing the strum pattern of the same chord or changing the tempo as well. So now that it was uh, strum pattern three, let's go on to strum pattern number four. Number beat one gets a whole beat, beat two gets a whole beat, and then beat three and four, we're going to split it in half. Three and four. So it sounds like this. Down, down, three and four and So that gives you four different strum patterns to work with. Also explains to you how to split them up. So if you want to get really complicated, you can take each beat and split it into three or use a portion of each split of three. So I will add some more of those videos onto the Sandy Uke. So please make sure you subscribe so that you get all of those videos. I'll be doing theory lessons, strum patterns, finger pick patterns, songs, uh, chord melodies, all kinds of stuff. So please make sure you subscribe to Sandy Uke. Let me know what you want to play in the description below and keep on playing. <laughs>